hi, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, and as you can see, we're talking about books that I am predicting, hoping, praying are gonna be five star reads for me. So before we get into this video, I hope my eyes aren't too puffy because <laughs> I was crying before filming this. Um, why you ask? Because life is hard. But really though, I'm going through it. I'm very, I'm very much struggling, but here I am to film this video. And so I knew I needed to film a video. I have all these video ideas, but I didn't want to do any of them. I didn't want to talk about any drama. I was like, I just need something easy and fun. And so I put on my favorite merch from Books Like Whoa, Mara, put on my donut earrings, and I am going to do a positive video, hoping that this throws out into the universe what I need get my reading back on track. I haven't gone through the comments on my last video but I appreciate everyone um, for watching and the feedback. There's lots of comments under there so I'm excited uh, to look at those so that I can uh, start to make better choices about my reading. But for now we're going to talk about these predictions. So I have never done a five star prediction video before because I'm not always a great chooser, picker, predictor as we can see but I do have somewhere I'm like I think I'm going to love this. Now, I started making the list and then I got to like eight. No, I got to like seven and I was like, ooh, I don't like that. I wanted to have 10. So the last few are kind of like, I don't know if they would be full five stars, but I do plan to like really enjoy them. So hopefully they're four stars. And is that, does that qualify for this video? Yes, because it's my video, so I'm gonna do it my way, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all this at the end of the video, but please drink some water hydrate and also I have um I have been trying to self-medicate via spending money which is not good because we're like spending a lot of money right now in anticipation of moving into this house that is bleeding me dry but I got another Stanley Cup I'm not proud okay but this color is beautiful and I'm done I promise I'm done these two look how be beauty okay and just looking at does looking at this just does bring me joy. So it did something, cause my pills, <laughs> like my medication is keeping me here, but they're not they're not exceeding at this moment. And I need a new thing. We're not gonna get into that anyway. Some of the books I have here, and the rest um, I was going through the holds I have at the library. Okay, I was looking through holds and some of these I have on hold the audio book, but I own the physical book. So none of these actually are just library books. I don't know if that matters. It'll be explained later in the video. So we shall start with Fireborn. Elle, if you're watching, I hope you're happy. I picked this up with two other books when I was at Barnes & Noble picking up books that um, some of my friends love. So this was one of them, Elle from Elliot Brooks loves this trilogy. I think the final book just recently came out and it's called The Aurelian Cycle, if I am correct, by Rosaria Munda. And I just always hear her rhyme about this one. I know there's dragons. I know it's a lot of political machinations. Um, something with like revolution. There's a war on the horizon. Um, and just the way she talks about it, I feel like I could love this. I do love political intrigue. I do love dragons. And we have two characters, one who was born in like the aristocracy and one who was born to like the poor, poor poorer, poorer class, lower class. These are all elements that I have loved in other books. So I'm feeling like this could, this could show out and show off. So fingers crossed the fireborn, you know, exceeds expectations and is the start of a new favorite series. Fingers crossed. I also have How the Word is Passed by Clint Smith. Now this is a non-fiction. I'm sorry Isabella, I am going to get to it. Oh I also didn't mention that I plan to read all of these books by the end of the year. Like they were already books I had planned to read so this wasn't like adding anything but I plan to read by the end of the year and then the beginning of next year which is terrifying how close that is. The beginning of next year I'll come back and review and see how many of these I was correct about. Anyway, How the Warriors Pass is a nonfiction by Clint Smith that came out earlier this year? 
Sure. I can't remember. I can't keep up. I followed Clint Smith on Twitter and I just am such a fangirl and not like mm, I want to marry him like oh he's just so smart and I just love the topics he brings up and how he talks about them and he also does um episodes on Crash Course if you watch that on YouTube and I just think he's great. So anyway How the Word is Passed A Reckoning with the History of Slavery Across America. So he's from New Orleans and that's where the story starts. So he basically goes on like a tour of monuments and landmarks that offer an intergenerational story of how slavery has been central in shaping our nation's collective history and memory. Heard nothing about amazing things about this which I'm not surprised because he just seems really smart and um is a really great writer so I think this is going to be a five star um for me for sure and he also narrates the audiobook and I love his voice so anyway <laughs> I think this is going to be an excellent five star nonfiction for myself right earlier this year when I read a or I did a vlog of like patron romance recommendations I was reading I read boyfriend material by Alexis Hall and I freaking loved it and so husband material is a five star prediction for me I gave five stars to boyfriend material I love Luke and Oliver I think they are so precious together their humor um really works for me the writing I really loved so I just think that this is gonna be another hit it's a little chunky for a romance book but I don't often read or I don't know if I ever have really read a second romance book with the same couple like they're sometimes in it but it's usually about you know like their friends or someone else and they're just like they make a cameo but this is about them again and so I'm hoping that the magic is still there and that they is they have the same chemistry and interactions and and banter that they did in the first one because if they do and then husband and they're gonna end up married this is this has to be a winner this has to be a winner now this is for one slot I know cheating I don't care so I read the ninth rain a few months ago that Elle has raved about and um, I just started The Bitter Twins like literally just started I'm only like 20 pages in so The Bitter Twins is the second one and then we have The Poison Song as the third one now I am putting these as either or is going to be five stars I believe that both of these were at least be four stars I gave four stars to the first one I loved it the reason I have two of them is because sometimes the second book in a trilogy is my favorite but sometimes they really have that middle book syndrome so I don't I don't know which one which way it's gonna go so I'm saying either or or hell both I would love it to be both but either or is going to be five stars could be the middle book or the final book but I really loved Ninth Rain um I love the writing I love the characters and the story and I you know I've just been a, in a weird reading place or I probably would have already continued but I did start The Bitter Twins so very excited to see where this is going and if both of these are five stars even better for at least one please at least one um because this is just a refreshing story I think it's easy obviously there's so many fantasy stories right but this one just feels different and new and I really love the first one so let's see let's see I mean what if I got two five stars oh my god I'm not gonna get ahead of myself but a girl can dream you know what I'm saying and then finally on the ones I have here we have of course Amari and the Great Game by cousin BB Alston he's not really my cousin he's my internet cousin you know what I'm saying but anyway I mean is there a question if you're new here the first book in this series is called Amari and the Night Brothers it came out last year I raved about it because it was amazing I loved it and so this is the second book that recently came out and I'm ashamed of myself because I thought I would have read it by now but you know my mind it is weary and so I have not oh there's stars I'm sorry I have not read this yet but people who have read it already I was already seeing people who had arcs who are raving about it people who are reading it now saying that it's wonderful and I mean I didn't expect any less so I know this is going to be a five I know this is going to be that's going to be a five star for me also it has book two on the side so <laughs> BB stay winning thank you not enough books number the series on the side this is going to be five stars it has to be if if there's anyone I would want to bet money on out of this entire video it's this one it's this one anyway if you didn't know this is a middle grade and we have Amari and it is basically like a magical school except it's like a summer camp like a magical summer camp her brother goes missing and people just 
I think he ran away or you know whatever whatever and she's like no I know he just didn't run away I I believe he's still alive and she goes into investigating what's going on and discovers this magical world and things that were going on that her her brother was involved in that she didn't know oh so good so yes this queen is gonna give me what I need I know it and then remaining this one is not a library hold it comes out later it comes out in November it's the lost metal by Brandon Sanderson so that is the fourth yes fourth book in Mistborn era two and the final one in this era currently I am rereading the books with Angela and a whole bunch of people were doing our read along uh rereading those to refresh ourselves before the lost metal now the last one the bands of mourning the la the third one I read that either last year or the year before and I remember so many emotions and especially there were reveals of how the book ended that I was like oh my god and then now it's been I don't know two years since that time that I read it not even that it came out and so I just feel like from what has been set up what was revealed in the last one and Sanderson and his endings that the lost metal is going to be amazing ah! So if you want to, I don't know if you're reading along with us, if you want to, we're currently on the second book, Shadows of Self, so there's still time. And obviously the book doesn't come out to November, so if you're a fast reader, you can go ahead and read. You know, you can catch up really quickly. But yes, I'm hoping The Lost Metal is a five-star banger closeout, a series closeout, like I knew Brandon can do. So fingers crossed that it's hitting that it hits, that it slaps, that it sticks the landing, whatever other analogy you need. Let's just, let's just, please, please. <laughs> then I have, I know, yeah, don't fight me for this one, y'all, don't fight me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Jade Legacy. Woo! I know, I know, I know. This came out last year <laughs> last year and um i was a little too emotional to read it and i'm i still feel that way <laughs> but it's getting ridiculous and i need to know what happens i am not ready um i am not prepared but i need i need to do it before the year ends <clears throat> i'm scared i'm ter I actually terrified I did start it. I got like 20% in, but again, reading funks, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna sob. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna read Jade Legacy, the third and final book in the Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee. <laughs> I just, here is what I'm very nervous about. I, from like, the moment I met these characters on page starting in Jade City, I was in love with the ones, you know, and I hated other ones. Like, I just think her writing is so amazing because the ones, you know, the bad people, like, I hate them. I hate them. But I love Hilo and Crew so much. It physically pains me <laughs> to think about what Fonda Lee is going to put them through after what has happened in Jade City and then Jade War. And also the time jumps, which I know are in there, but it just makes it hard because I don't want to see them get old or die. I'm just not ready. <laughs> oh, no! But I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I know it. <laughs> mm. I know it's gonna be a five five star closeout banger. I just, I just want to pretend that everybody's okay and alive and healthy. I want to read that. That illusion will be shattered. Mm. But I'm gonna, I'm going to, I don't know how anyone's gonna hold me accountable, but I'm, I need someone to try. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. Before December 31st, 2022, I will have finished Jade Legacy. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Woo! Okay, now these are the three where they may not completely be five stars, but I'm so hopeful. And if it's four stars, I'll be very happy. So I have Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb, which I feel like <laughs> is a stretch because my first trilogy with Robin Hobb, the Farseer trilogy, didn't go super great. But here is why I'm hopeful. 
Robin Hobb's writing is exquisite to me. I think it's wonderful. And um, what I've heard about The Ship of Magic makes me feel encouraged. Now, the Farseer trilogy is about Fitz. He's our main character, and we're in his head the entire time. The entire time. And I just get tired of it. And that is not the case in Ship of Magic. There's multiple characters with multiple points of view. So that's already one thing. Also in Ship of Magic, they have ships that after a certain certain something with a family and whatever, whatever, <laughs> they become, they basically, what is it, quicken? They basically become alive. I, like, I feel like that means they're sentient. They like have a bind of their own. I love when a random thing, object, animal becomes sentient in a story. I love it. So that's another point in its favor. And then I think there's just like family, it's like family story, family drama maybe? Drama? I, I just, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful overall, even if it's not a five, I think it could be a really strong four that I love because if we put her writing with those elements and it all works well, it could be it could be what I need from her it could be what I need Robin to deliver to me so let's see I wanted to at least start that trilogy um before the end of the year because I was supposed to read it earlier in the year with people and you know I'm me trifling so it didn't happen but I wanted to at least read the first book before the end of the year then next I have the blade itself this one this one, I don't know. So Leanna, if you're watching, I hope you're happy. This is why it's on here because of you. I tried to read this book years ago, was, but it was when I was moving to Italy. So again, in the weird moving, blah, 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 headspace, put it to the side. It wasn't like a hard DNF. It was like, I am gonna read this eventually. Then Jashana so lovingly got me the box set. I don't have them currently with me um, of the, the First Law trilogy. And so I just, it's time so once I do get my books and you know get settled in that is one I own and I want to read before the year is up at least the first one I know I have a better expectation going into it this time than I did when I first read it so I know not to expect like something with a huge plot I know there's it's more of a character driven story which I can really appreciate and so I think knowing those things Letting myself get into a better headspace will add up to success for me. I really think that's it. So again, fingers crossed. If it's not a five, it's a four, still a winner. Stand by, we shall see. And lastly on this list, which I don't even wanna say lastly, but is The Crown Conspiracy by Michael J. Sullivan. This is in the prequel series, The Ryria Chronicles, that I have owned for a long time and haven't read. It's kind of ridiculous. I only say this may not be a full five stars just because of the first one. So maybe, you know, that might take some time to build. But then also, if I'm thinking about myself and my love for Roris and Hadrian because they are in this series, I probably just have to give it a five because there is no rational thinking when it comes to those two. Like, sure, if I wanted to be rational, could I nitpick and find things? Things, like when I was rereading Theft of Swords sure but I'm not going to okay because I love them for eternity they're perfect they're the best bromance I've ever read Hadrian Blackwater is bae like how how am I going to find like it has to be really bad to get a four star you know what I'm saying like a lot has to be wrong to get a four star so it's most likely going to be a five but you know we never know I haven't read it yet so I can't see that for sure but I mean, <laughs> at the least it's getting a four. You just know it's true. I'm, at least I'm honest, I'm upfront with y'all. I'll say you, I'll say you head empty, just vibes, just feelings, just love for my bays. <laughs> but those are my 10. So those are 10 I am planning to read for the rest of the year. Obviously not all I'm planning to read for the rest of the year. I mean, if that happens to be it, so be it. But I already was planning to read these. Um, the only one that I don't own actually is, hold up. Hold up! I just realized this because once I get my books, I will have, I will, I'm obviously getting the Lost Metal, like that's pre-ordered. But once I get my books, I'll have Jade Legacy, I'll have Ship of Magic, The Blade Itself, and The Crowns, but seriously, what? <laughs> 10 five-star predictions from books I own, excluding the Lost Metal, which comes out in November, but I will own it. Oh my God, who is she? Ew. 
on. That's what I need to do. I own too many goddamn books. And I know there's some good books in there. I just be looking. I'm just like, oh, I want that. I said, look at what I got. Anyway, my camera's about to die. So this is perfect. Let me know if you've read any of these. If you have any thoughts. Do you do five star predictions? What's the last five star book you read? Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one.